Like last time, I am doing a Sweet Tooth Thursday, well actually no, it's a Sweet Tooth Madeline Phillips special all by myself. This is the first time I've done one of these specials by myself. The reason is, well actually she sent us some throat lozenges, or as we'd say in Japanese, nodoame, and my throat is feeling a little bit rough this morning, so I thought, yeah, it's the perfect time to try these out. And I don't know what the kids are going to think of them. I could let them try it and post it later, but for now, I'm just doing this one by myself. The only thing is, I mean, they've kind of fallen victim to Kyushu weather. It feels like it is one solid, slightly flexible mass. It's still before the best before date by a month. I really should have gotten to them sooner, but uh, hopefully any throat soothing properties they may have are still at full efficacy. Just felt like throwing in big words. My throat's not really, really horrible, but it is uncomfortable enough to want to be lozenged. Did I just make a new verb? No easy, nice opening, so cut it. Not sure how we'll be able to close it later. I'm going to put it in a Ziploc bag or something. First impressions. Woo! That'll wake you up. That'll open your nose just by the smell. Mm. Little sticky. That's because it's been sitting a little bit too long. Aussie Drops Pure Australian Taste Eucalyptus. I smell all of that. I can smell eucalyptus. It smells a little lemony. I smell Australia. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I like it. That's nice. That's strong. These are pretty good. Healthy dose of real eucalyptus and menthol. Made and blended by hand. Mm. Sounds like a pretty simple recipe. Well, it's not the recipe, it's just the ingredients list, but sugar, wheat, glucose, syrup, 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 syrup ugh, citric acid. Why can't I speak? Eucalyptus oil and menthol. Tell you what, I'm gonna suck on this, get to the end of it, and then come back and tell you how it feels. Okay, been sucking on it for a few minutes. Watched some good plays, played with my phone a bit. It's mostly gone, all this small. I like them. I'm not getting overly enthusiastic because my throat still kind of hurts a bit. Can't really jump up and down going, I love them in a loud voice because that would hurt. I think they're very nice. I would use them regularly if they were available to me. I like eucalyptus, I like menthol, I like what this is doing for my throat. Thank you very much, Madeline. I've just got to now seal this up somehow so they don't get any gummier. Well, I mean, I'll be using these today. I don't think I'll go through the whole pack today. So it's not that bad, I hope. I don't think my kids are gonna like this. Maybe I'll take one, break it into small pieces, give them a taste, and record their reaction. Good. Maybe throw it up as, a, as an extra. Good. Almost forgot to point it. Uh, this is the only throat lozenge ever reviewed on this, so it's in a league of its own, its own category. Looks, I think it's a very nice little package. You get to see the candy itself, you get to see a koala, and who doesn't love koalas? Maybe some people who have koalas living next to the house, because I hear they're actually really loud at night. Mm, 9 out of 10. The smell lets you know what you're in for. Another 9 out of 10, and the taste. Yeah, I'd say 9's all around, 27. Very good. Best throat lozenge I've ever reviewed. It's the only throat lozenge I've ever... No, that's not true. It's the second throat lozenge I've ever reviewed. Come to think of it. But back there, I didn't do points. Okay, so still going for this is the best. That works. Thank you very much, Madeline. See you later, everyone.